A Louisiana man has been charged with shooting and wounding a 14-year-old girl who was playing hide-and-seek on his property, officials said. The girl was found with a gunshot wound to the back of the head on her neighbor's property. Deputies responded to reports of a shooting early Sunday at the home of David Van Doyle, 58, in Starks, near the border of Louisiana and Texas, the Calcasieu Parish Sheriff's Office said. Police said several minors, all neighbors, had been playing hide-and-seek in the area and hiding on Van Doyle's property. Van Doyle told detectives he saw, shadows, outside his home, went inside to get his firearm and then, went back outside and observed people running away from his property, at which time he began shooting at them and unknowingly hit the girl. Van Doyle was charged with aggravated battery, four counts of aggravated assault with a firearm and illegal discharge of a firearm, the sheriff's office said. Bail is pending and it was not known whether he has a lawyer. The girl was taken to a hospital for treatment of non-life-threatening injuries. The investigation continues, the sheriff's office said. The shooting is the latest of at least four similar incidents, sparking a national conversation about gun violence as well as, stand your ground, and, castle doctrine, both self-defense laws. On April 13, Ralph Yarl, 16, was shot when he rang the wrong doorbell as he was trying to pick up his younger twin brothers from a friend's home in Kansas City, Missouri. Andrew Lester, a white man in his 80s, was accused of shooting Yarl, who is black, and charged with first-degree assault and armed criminal action. Yarl was shot in the head, cracking his skull and leaving him with a traumatic brain injury, his family's lawyer said. On April 15 in upstate New York, Kaylin Gillis, 20, was fatally shot when the car she was in with her boyfriend and two friends turned into the wrong driveway as they were looking for a friend's house. Kevin Monaghan, 65, was arrested on a charge of second-degree murder. On April 18 in Texas, two cheerleaders were shot, one critically, after one of them mistakenly tried to get into the wrong car in a supermarket parking lot. The suspect, Pedro Tello Rodriguez Jr., 25, was charged with deadly conduct, a third-degree felony, police said. In North Carolina, also on April 18, a man allegedly shot and wounded a six-year-old girl and her father after a basketball rolled into his lawn, a neighbor said. Robert Louis Singletary, 24, turned himself in days later in Tampa, Florida, after a manhunt.